Hello everybody and welcome back to Average Guy Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Extreme Cables X-Flyer. This is a FPV uh, toy grade quad. This was actually my first quad. This is why it looks old and dingy and dirty. Um, this is what I learned to fly on. So this got me into the hobby. This got me hooked on everything else. Now I'm not going to go out and say it is probably the best quad you're going to be able to buy. In fact, I feel like I overpaid for it. It's pretty much just an X5C knockoff, but it does have FPV and it it does work pretty well. It works just about as well as any other FPV quad out there. Um, it's durable. It's very durable. I've crashed this thing harder than I've crashed any other quad before and I've crashed it a million times. I mean there's there's crud and dirt and and everything else on here. I got 70 flights out of the first set of motors before I uh, I lost a rear motor and I ordered some upgraded motors for it that I picked up on Amazon for probably $12 and they were for a larger quad than this but I wanted something with a little bit more power that ran on 3.7 volt batteries and I happened to find some so it did add some power to it it added quite a bit of power to it if that was one complaint I had about this quad is that it was horribly underpowered um, in a rate 2 and in full speed it couldn't hold its altitude it would just steadily fall um, with these new motors in it um, it still has a tendency to not keep its height you have plenty of power to power out of any falls that you end up going into whether it be speed related or uh, intentional now it does auto rotate pretty well you can cut the throttle on it and it will recover the uh, the gyros in it are solid I uh, haven't had any problems with them at all uh, it's really good about keeping itself flat level stable um, I did have a problem with it with it when I first got it it wanted to fly to the left all the time um, ironically it was the left rear motor that went out on it so I don't know if I started out with a weak motor or what but overall it's been a good quad and it was good enough that I felt it was worthwhile to replace the motors and, and keep it in the air and I, I can tell you I if I go out and I want to learn how to do something new or if I want to try something new this is the quad I do it on I do it on this quad because technically I don't care about this quad I have a box full of extra parts that I've ordered for it so it doesn't matter what I break on it, it's going to be okay. But let's jump into what came in the box. Um, standard stuff, I got a screwdriver, some extra screws, and a 600 milliamp, 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery. So just one, um, and it is only 600 milliamps. So some of these kits do come with the 650s or the 700s. Uh, this one only comes with a 600 and you only get one. Um, I picked this one up on walmart.com. This is before I knew about the deals you could get on Amazon. And I paid $63 for it plus shipping, so I'm a little disappointed by that, uh, especially knowing what's out there now. It also came with a standard charger here, so nothing special. Um, it was really just a basic kit, and that was kind of disappointing for me, uh, especially after I started buying these quads from Amazon, and they were coming with extra batteries and, and all this other stuff you could get with them. But one of the first things I bought for this quad was five extra batteries, which turned out to be way too many extra batteries because as I ordered more quads in this size it was just extra batteries kept coming with them and I it was up to 10 batteries in no time and I didn't have time to fly all 10 batteries in fact I puffed three of them just from not being able to fly them or get them on a storage charge or anything else so you shouldn't fly them back to back anyway so 10 batteries would take me all day to fly just you have to give the motors time to cool off or you're going to burn up motors left and right and i suspect when you go on amazon or walmart or banggood or wherever you may go to look for these things you're going to see bad reviews and people are going to say well they didn't last well you're probably flying them back to back and that's probably why it didn't last these motors are cheap simple little brushed motors and they can only fly for so long. Um, life expectancy on them isn't long anyways, and you need to go into that knowing that. But let's get to what else came in the box, and that is going to be this controller here. Um, now the controller is just about like any other SIMA controller. Um, one little touch that I do like is right here. You can see that the buttons, not only are they shiny, um, but they are they got little pictures on them. So right here you can start recording video, this is your headless mode button pictures and this right here is the one touch return to home function which does not work I've had this quad since August it is now almost the middle of January and I have never once gotten this feature to work for me headless mode works great it keeps this orientation even when you're close to the end of your flight 
Um, and the video on it is, well, it's okay. That should be in the flight review. Um, it's, it's a 0.3 megapixel camera, so you kind of get what you pay for there. But this button here does your flips. This button here does your, um, your speeds. You have two rates of speed. Uh, the first speed is great to learn to fly. The second one is really fast. The yaw rate gets crazy on this thing, and it's, it's actually fairly exciting. Um, even for somebody who's been flying and has got the entire thing figured out, and I'm just kind of running around playing around with it now, it's still a good, fun toy to have, but it is just a toy. Um, now, if you look down here, you can see uh, the camera down here. Just like the Sima X5C, um, it does plug in exactly the same. It looks exactly the same, uh, but you do have this little antenna that runs out the back. Um, and the gears are a little exposed uh, for my liking. In fact, there's been a few times, actually you see here I plowed this thing into the dirt earlier, but uh, there's been a few times I've plowed into the dirt and the gear has gotten jammed up with one tiny little grain of sand and I'm in here with a paper clip trying to pick it out and, and make it work. But other than that, no big problems. I've been very happy with this quad. I would suggest it, although I think there's other things that you can get better in this price range. Thanks for watching everybody. As always, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and come back next week. Let's go take a look at that flight video and the camera footage.